going to be opening in just a few short minutes, but it's tradition here at The Great Escape that we choose a family of the day every morning. Hi, He'll be back. He'll be back. Today, it's our honor to have the Chadwick family of Queensbury here with us. We have Alicia, Zoe, and Aubrey. Good morning, ladies. So, I have a very special job for you. Our family of the day announces when the park opens every morning. But before we do that, we have another tradition where we play our country's national anthem. And now, I know something about you guys. So we have a very special treat for you. Your dad, right girls? Staff Sergeant Donald Chadwick of the United States Air Force has been gone for a while, huh? Since Christmas time or so? So we want something very special in honor of your dad and all the brave men and women that are serving our country every day. So instead of just playing the national anthem, we have our vocalist, entertainment team member Carly Merrill, who's going to sing it live for us. And then when she's done, we'll announce that the park is open. Okay? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled announce that the park is open. So would you girls come this way with me just a little bit? And if you're shy, that's okay. All right. So why don't we turn this way? And on the count of three, we're going to say the park is open. One. You know what? Hold on. You girls are kind of little. We might need a louder voice. You want somebody to help us do it? Can we get some help on this? Who can help us announce that the park is open? Frankie, come on. What's up? <laughs> Welcome home, Staff Sergeant Donald Chadwick. We love you, York. Oh yeah, we still have to open the park. <laughs> smile. Read the camera, smile. Oh yeah? Where's my hug? Let me know a hug. Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> That's a good hug. Carousel? I think I'm too good for the carousel. For now, yeah. For a little bit. You happy to have me? Give me another hug. Love you. Oh, I missed you. Oh, I missed your bunches. What? What? Did I change? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's a ham. Huh? Somebody's a ham. Oh. Where have you been, Sergeant? Uh, Portugal. Portugal, oh. Since? January. January? So you haven't been home since Christmas? Oh, uh, right after Christmas. Uh, when did you get back in the States? Uh. You can go? No, not even a couple days ago. Oh, and uh, where have you been? I was in Texas for a couple weeks for a training. Okay, so I know everybody's going to ask, how, getting hugs from two little girls. Oh, that was awesome. I wouldn't change it for the world. <laughs> okay. Let's see a new car. You got a new car? <laughs> we can keep a secret, can't we? Uh, Don, you want to pick up Robert? Is this your right? first stop? No. Yeah. Since back home? Uh, Texas place. Uh, <laughs> Texas place. Well, no. Oh, since I've been to Queensbury, yes. Well, Lox the Bagels was the first stop. <laughs> Good choice. So uh, when did you decide to, uh, to pull this little uh, prank here? Oh, I didn't decide. She came up with the idea. Oh. <laughs> it was her idea, and I went along with it. Birthday party, but uh, the Air Force messed up on his travel time, so we had to figure something else out. So I contacted Jessica and asked her if she wanted to help us out and surprise the girls that she was here. You contacted the park? Yes, I did. So, how, well, they were well, pretty like receptive. Very. Yep. You guys come here a lot? Yeah, yeah we've been here 19 times this year already. Wow. Uh, how long in the in the, in the making was this uh, little uh, surprise? Uh, three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah, I That's not it. bad then. Not bad. How hard was it to keep it from the girls? Very, very hard. Especially today because we uh, our travel arrangements got messed up. His flight got canceled. And we got the last rental car for him to drive from D.C. to here. From where? D.C. So he has not had any sleep at all. So he drove all the way from D.C. I picked him up in Albany. He drove up here with another guy. And the other guy took the rental car back and we drove back up here from Albany. So I've been up since 4. And he's been back in our basement since 6 o'clock He was in your this basement morning. this morning? Oh my gosh. <laughs> they hit me in the basement. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Alicia, what's it mean to you to not only see your husband, but to see you all together here for the first time in eight months? Uh, everything. It means everything to me. It's been really hard for my girls, especially um, my oldest. My oldest is a daddy's girl. She's very shy. And that's all she says every single day is that she wants her father back. So it's just sad that he has to go back in two weeks, but we're trying to, you know, not focus on that and live day to day. This is going to be one of those things that they'll remember for the rest of their life. They really. will, yes, and they love the Great Escape, so it'll be good. All of us watching got goosebumps. How's it feel to be sort of in the middle of all? Uh, emotional. Goosebumps as well. Kind of nerve-wracking. At first I was like, I did all this and now it's not going to happen. I had a huge breakdown last night because I'm like, we got to get him on. I was actually all the way past Albany when we finally got a rental car. So I was going to drive out, get him, and then drive back. And try to be back in time for this this right. morning. You were going to try to drive to D.C. I and was, back? yes. Oh, oh man. So, I was going to try to make it. I asked him, you know, he's watched some of the videos and so on. We've all seen those countless times, news or clips or so on. And I guess your older daughter's watched them finally. And oh, yeah. What's it feel to be part of one of these now? Uh, it's emotional. It's exciting. What I'm just happy that my girls have their dad and I can come back too for a little while. And what, what are these next two weeks going to be? What, you got a whole list of uh, oh, yeah, things? or have high? a lot of things that I have already planned. How long has he been in, and uh, when do you think he, when when is he going to get out? He's a lifer, and oh. we've been in for six years. So. Oh.
Okay. Our next spot is McGuire Air Force Base, so it's right next to Six Flags. Yeah. <laughs> We're excited about that. So we should be uh, moving there in a couple months and then he'll follow on in January.